Okay, on our way to derive the limits for reactions in biochemical systems, um, especially for biomolecules that are large, we have to look at some transport now in spherical coordinates. So here's a version of a picture that I drew to try to get some of the geometry for what this looks like. So here we have a spherical shell, the outside shell, which I can add a line here so you can get an idea of what the outside shell is. Uh, is that this distance between the inner shell and the outer shell is delta R, and we have uh, a flux through these different portions of the shell. And we want to do an overall mass balance um, on the contents of the shell so we can have a, an equation that we can use to look at we will eventually use for motion of particles in 3D. And the spherical coordinates, when things are coming in contact with each other, it really makes the most sense to work at on uh, spherical coordinates. It actually makes life easier. So if we use a mass balance on this, we have a uh, partial uh, ci dt times the volume of the spherical shell. Now, if you remember, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And then if we have, uh, consider a small uh, thickness, we can have the radius almost the same on the inside and outside. We can multiply it by the thickness delta r. This gives us the volume of that spherical shell. Equals 4, so we have also have to include the area, 4 pi ji in the r direction at position r times r squared minus the uh, flux out, which is going to be ji at r plus delta r times r plus delta r squared, because it's an entire surface area. So before we did cylindrical, it was r times l, but now we have r squared and r plus delta r squared. Um, and then lastly, for the body um, reactions, or the reactions taking place in the volume, we're going to have reactions in this volume for pi r squared delta r. Okay, so what do we do? You divide through by the volume, okay? Take delta R goes to zero, and this whole uh, equation collapses down into the following. Partial CI partial T equals one over R squared. Of course, the minus, uh, this, um, uh, becomes minus, uh, one minus this term here. Um, one over R squared because we flip, flip the order of these two and then use the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus to calculate the derivative. So it's minus one over R squared, partial by partial R, J I at R times R squared, okay, plus R I. So now we use fixed law and we make the substitution del c i del t now is equal to d i j. This is if d is a constant, not a function of position. If it's a function of position, you can't pull it out of the derivative right away, but you get partial by partial r times r squared, partial c i partial r plus r i. Okay. This becomes the basis for a lot of the problems that we're going to work on um, for transport uh, and reaction limits um, and spherical coordinates. Now, uh, this, this also is a good starting point for simulation of things um, like uh, the diffusion of molecules away from a spherical drug or something where you're going to have the, the material kind of leaving from the surface as this particle shrinks and gets smaller. So the rate of the release is going to change as the size of your drug changes. But for this one, I just wanted to introduce how you get um, to the from a shell balance to this general reaction equation, or diffusion uh, with reaction equation, that we will then use as the basis for some of our next steps, which is to determine the uh, maximal binding and unbinding rates for biochemical reactions.